from the heights of Cucamonga Peak and the depths of Altalola. It is a special Wednesday live stream. Why is it special? Because I'm here, she's here, someone else is here. We're going to talk about her later. But more importantly, records are here. Double thanks to Andy. Triple thanks to his friend and my friend, Ben. Ben, thank you very much. I hope you're watching this. We have some crazy records. Ben collected records from 79 to 84. These are all his records. They're all excellent shape. Some are near mint. Some are mint. All original. You got to get them. Here is the Meat Mint first pressing, the black and white cover. You know it's the first pressing because it has the Maumee, Ohio address Where? for touch and go. Where? It's on there somewhere. Where? Oh, there. See it. Maumee. That's a funny word. I think that's Indian. That would be your first trivia question if I knew the answer. I could make it up, Emil. Not Emil. Um, hey, if anybody wants to buy these, how do they do that? Hey, put a comment. Um, message us in the. What, how don't you tell me? Okay, so comment. Call. We be, yeah. Okay. Hey. Me? Hi. I'll tell you. Uh, so you're gonna call dibs in the comment section. We will pull it for you, and then give us a call after we're done being live, and we will take your info and ship it to you. And Jorge Meza would like to know how much is the meatman because he sucks. But do you swallow? No need to answer. Your dad told me. He does swallow. I think it's only 26. It's 29. Compare that to the repress, which is 22.90 or 26.90. As I always say. <laughs> what 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 do you say? I always say? say this. You know what? These are originals. Uh, compare prices. Compare the originals with the represses. A lot of times these are cheaper. This, this is the Susie record to get. This is an original. It's never been repressed as far as I know. At least it's not now. It's $29. All the hits are here. Love Susie and the Banshees. That's a great record. And once again, they are in really super good shape. What up, Debbie? Uh, can you pull Meat Men for Jorge Meza? Oh, the guy that swallows and sucks? Yeah, totally reverse order. You suck first, then you swallow, and then you beg for more. Thank you, Casey Royer from DI, one of my all-time favorite bands. Saw them Saturday. Seen DI so many times throughout so many years, and you know what? They still kick a yeah, yes! Awesome band. It was nice to hang out and see you guys. Another Susie and the Banshees Gatefold Double LP Original. Can you pull hey, the... what's going on Hi. Can you pull the first Susie for Brandon Shaw? Yeah. We're going to have lots more Susie. There's lots more Susie. Blah, blah. That is the one to get It's me coming up. up. Yeah, there are more coming up any second. Uh, Brandon Shaw. Excellent shape. Cheaper than the repress. Original from 1977. Brandon, do you like that one? Susie and the Banshees. This is 26. All the Susie stuff I think is ranging from, there's some for 15. No more expensive than 29. Mid-20s is probably the average price. This is only 15. That's from 1984, the year I was born. Shh. What is that one? Dream House. God, look at her. She's making out with herself. And they're watching. Fuck. Boing. Uh-oh, look out, everyone. Look out. It's Devo. Oh, this, no. I don't really care for this record. It's only $12. Hey, I got some highs from people. Hey. Uh, so I got... Well, Chachi's watching. Hi, Chachi. Uh, Josh Pierce says swing. Lily Stone says hi. Hi, Lily. John Rio said, my wallet is ready. John, I didn't get your number that day. John, get your sweet ass in here, my friend. You're going to see what's in here. Call dibs it's in the a, comment section. It's a jeans, it's a jeans creamer. Boom. Wow. Uh, Jeff, Ow, right in the kisser. Jeff fucking Soto said, Jeff. Shattered Faith Confederate and Soto Street are playing August 5th at the Doll Hut and you should come over. That would be great. Confederate is a really hard to get record. Wait, Rick what, Agnew. What was that? That was the Mentors original from 82 or 3. And James Tesno said what up? James, these are for you as well. Original. What does Doctor Strange and a drunk driver have in common? We keep putting on the hits. And these are the hits. Shut up to everyone. That was stupid. Red Cross. This is just a handmade thing that Ben made. This is the generic sleeve from Posh Boy. When Posh Boy ran out of the original sleeves, like for the Stepmothers, Channel 3, Red Cross, many, many records, they would just use the generic Posh Boy. So it's a lot cheaper. 
How much is, hi, how much is the mentors? It's 32, excellent shape. It's been a super long time since we had it. Look I at that belly. I think it's from 83 or two. That's gonna bite, let's see. 82. The year I was born. Okay, the bad brains. Is this the best fucking record ever? It very well could be the best fucking record ever. Original. First pressing. I don't even know if mine has this. I don't remember it. But look at that. It has the lyrics. Why, no, why would they not utilize all this space? I don't know. What are those? Lyrics for aunts? Yes. And uncles. Awesome record. Must have. Best record. Probably. I go back and forth sexually, but musically between the adolescents and this. Uh, can you pull the mentors for James Tesno? James, you son of a bitch. Speaking of son of a bitches, hi Ray. Uh, James Tesno. Oh, you weren't watching? I just flipped through like so many records. I'm too lazy to go back. So I'm gonna uh, start right here. It's cool, people. If there was a groan sound effect, it would be a good time to use it. John Rios appreciates my Zoolander reference. Thanks, John Rios. That guy. Wait, what was that? That was Discord's first four, seven inches, first pressing green label. This one has an insert poster even I have never seen before. And I know Discord did things like that very often, so kind of cool, huh? Never seen that before. Excellent shape. Near mint. Or excellent. I'm going to say excellent, but... It's really better than that. Uh, can you pull Bad Brains for Brandon Shaw? Brandon, that's such a good record. It's such a good record. And your tiny ass lyric sheets. Put your readers on, people. You got it, Brandon. And you know what's funny, not funny, sad about that particular record, is when they remastered it on CD, it doesn't sound good. It, they fucked it up. Once you hear that record on vinyl, especially the original pressing, wow, it's just, it's a great, great record. Uh, yeah, can you pull that? Okay, this one's for Brandon Shaw, and then the uh, Discord for with Mike. With the insert. With the insert for, for Mike the Palm Palmer. Yeah. Ciao. Got him? Go. Mike, put some motion lotion on your palms because, I don't know, it just sounds arousing. The damned 10 inch original. I won't say it again. One of my personal favorites, next to concrete, which we might have one left. This is a really good compilation. It's called Burning Ambitions. It's the history of punk, and the title says it all. Name a band, they're on it from 77 to 83. Spiz to GBH to 999 to Slaughter the Dogs to X-Ray Specs to the Buzzcocks to the Fall. So many records, I mean so many bands. The only, um, the Partisans has the Dead Kennedys on there. Adam and the Ants. That's weird to have Dead Kennedys on that comp because all the rest of them are Euro. Yeah, I was going to mention that. The reason they did that on this record and also on one we'll see in a few minutes is because it helped sell the record. They were such a huge band and it also enabled bands like Dead Kennedys and Black Flag, if they wanted to, to travel to Europe back then because it exposed them to many, many people. Hey, uh, what's up? Hi, can you, uh, uh, blah, 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 Dominic De Filippo. Dominic! Dominic De Filippo's Dom. got this comp and uh, Kenny Garrett's in the house. Hey Kenny, I'm, I didn't have a chance to mail your decline, but like I said, it's yours, it's going out tomorrow, got busy. Kenny, there's a shit little record that you would want. Love Kenny, love this record. Who do I love more? This dude right here. Lung Cookies, that's on Smoke 7, it's a compilation, excellent shape. If I remember right, it has a fanzine. Final Conflict is in this. I don't think it lists the bands on the back. It has, yeah. I just want to get a close up on this really like uh, high quality special effects makeup. Mm -hmm. Several songs. RF7, Red Meat, Sacred Order. Oh, Willful Neglect. That's a band that most of you have not heard of. Excellent uh, for fans of Zero Boys, Necros, Minor Threat. It's that tempo, great band. You can get their stuff cheap. Havoc re-released their record. Strongly recommend getting Willful Neglect. Oh hey, James Tesno, yes, you got that Mentors record. We already have it pulled for you. And, Aman and Amanda Macias, yes, it was a Mentors vinyl and it got claimed by James Tesno, who's really good at purchasing his records after he calls dibs on them.
Yep, he calls dibs on him, but he didn't get this one yet. The germs. Love the germs. This is only for collectors. Why? It's live. Eh, but there's something else in here that is my favorite germs record coming up. It may not be the one you think. It's the Boston cover. It's really rare. It's all Super Tramp in Boston. Uh, John, <laughs> John Rios will take that germs. You'll think it's new. It's not, but you're going to think it's new. John Rios. Don't get this record. But there's another one you guys will want to get. You can get it, it's cheap, it's 15. It's an original from 84. It's not good. But we do have Your Weapon, the first one. This is a, still a great record. This is a, an original US press, Circle Jerks. Oh. One of the best bands I've ever seen back then. The drummer was awesome. Really good. Wait, on the front side? Yeah. That's me, right there. Where? That's me. Oh yeah, that is you. Yeah. I remember that, yeah. That's Debbie Johnson. She was on vacation in the UK. This was taken on King's Road, which was their version of Melrose. Not the not Melrose Place, but Melrose. King's Road was a very posh, which means fancy, richy place. Uh, Malcolm McLaren had a shop there, the La Sec shop. A lot of punks would hang out there. And Debbie Johnson went there in the summer of 82 and got her picture taken. Yep. By Ed Culver, who was actually visiting as well. Unbeknownst, they didn't know each other back then. They know each other now. Hi, Ed. Wait, what was that? That is not very good. It's DC-13. Greg Ginn is in it. Oh, Des Kadena. I'm sorry. Des is in it from Black Flag. Paul is in it from The Screamers. And Kurt is in it from Kurt. Uh, hey, uh, can hey. you... Hi. Uh, can you... Bleh, sorry. Hi, who's... Hi, Hooter Doo. Hooter Doo. Hooter Doo. Hooter -doo. Hooter -doo. Uh, can you pull the GBH uh, and yeah. check? To, is it on clay? Is that GBH on no, clay? No, it's a U.S. press. Awesome record, cheaper than the repress. It's worth getting if you're stuck on the clay one. We don't have it. We might have some clay seven inches. It's twenty nine dollars. It's Relativity Records from eighty four. Baby, really good. That's their third record. I'll leave it. Awesome. I love it. I love this record too. First pressing, Gatefold, on their own label. Excellent shape. Check Discogs what it goes for. It's sixty nine. Yeah, yeah, dollars here, but. I love old Souls of Distortion. That's the second band I ever saw with Bad Religion at the Whiskey. Uh, John Rio said he met Greg Hudson in high school and he was introduced to him by Charlie from Goldfinger. And I just have to say, ow my foot, because name dropping ow. Uh, medic! 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 Um, oh, hey. Uh, hey. Chris, hi. <laughs> uh, Christopher Wicker will take Social D. Christopher Wicker can suck my dicker. Chris, there you go. Chris, awesome. Okay, this is for someone like, like a Grant or like a James or like a Ray or like a Steve. We had a one time and one time ever mixed nuts. Oh, actually, this is one of them. Mixed nuts don't crack. It's a compilation from '82 you've never heard of. There's another one coming up. The Master Tapes. Um, Media Disease. United Mutation is the only band I've ever heard of. I got this confused with another one. So you can shit over this, go ahead, I don't care. But there's another one that you will totally diarrhea for. We have more addicts. You like the addicts? I like the addicts. Hi, monkey. Whoops. I like the addicts. Debbie Johnson loves the addicts. Oh, who likes? Who else likes the addicts? You know what, we have a new addition to the family. Is it Jinx? No. Oh, I'm sorry, and people, just real quick. Try this water, it's really super good. It's, it's Nestle. Nestle, Nestle owned by Arrowhead or vice versa. It's flavored water. Hey. Hi. Hey, can you pull the addicts for John Rios? Yeah. Uh, and then who's gonna take it? John Rios. Yeah, but who's gonna? Who am I gonna hand this to? We're gonna hand it to a new person, but real quick, I have to because I get. Paid. Oh, sorry. I'm. Oh, yeah. Sorry. The sponsor. Water sponsor. Is, it's tempted or a hint. It's just normal water, but they have orange, lemon, purple, uh, grape ape. Akachi, is that how you say it, or Krachi? Asahi. 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 Anyway, it's flavored water. It's uh, There's no sugar, which I'm trying to get better about not drinking so many sodas because my teeth, hey, Dr. J, I'll see you tomorrow, are falling apart. Anyway, try it. I could only find it at Ralph's. But anyway, it's super good. Also, all these, people in the all these people in the comments are saying they like the addicts, but I think they just mean they like dick, so. Yeah, or drugs. You know who else loves dicks and drugs? I don't know, but not her. 
This is Ziggy. She has purple hair. She has a Bauhaus shirt on. She's taking your orders right now. She's doing Chachi's job, but she, so can we tell what she's doing really? Or wanna wait? You probably already noticed. What? People, what? the website. Oh, I mean, I wouldn't even say anything about that yet. Just, they don't know yet. You don't know yet. It's not there yet to tell well, them. They, to, it is. It, it is, 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 but I mean, starting. not yet, but. Well, if you guys want to check things out, peruse, go ahead. But hi, Ziggy. Hi, Ziggy. Hi. Let's see, they're old friends. Um, and what do I know? What do I know about Ziggy? Uh, you're going to hand her that attic She's record so she can record process right there. It. She takes awesome photos. She does That's like the attic. Nice. Uh, Grant from Canada says Grant. that uh, you have more ink than Chachi, <laughs> which is true because Chachi only has ink in places that we can't see. It's butthole, and I've seen it. And this is my favorite position that Chachi's usually in. Nap, nap. The decline. First pressing. That's a must-have. Circle jerks, black flag, fear, Catholic discipline, bags, X. They're all here. Awesome record. $36. Another awesome record from an awesome label, Frontier Records number one, The Fly Boys. I've mentioned this before, it's really hard to describe. I would say it's more along the lines of the crowd. They have their own sound, and you can kind of get a vibe from the way they look. Maybe like a, like a crowd, the gears, hybrid with their own sound. I don't know. Really cool, really different, but nothing. Hey, what's up? You can finish what you're saying. No, nothing compares to that band. They're just very unique. From 79, it's still a really unique record. What up? Uh, so Michael Boyer called dibs on The Decline. Okay. Will you pull that for me? Thank you. Uh, Ray Wenzel. Ray, you the, motherfucker. The Ray Wenzel says, if any fear comes up, he'll take it because he can't see the live stream because he's throwing darts. I have a dart story. We'll save that for next time. Do Ray, we have the first record. First press. Do you want it? He does. You got it, my friend. Yeah, we'll pull that for Ray Wenzel. Um, I think he might also want a Tough Darts album. And the Tough Darts. And the Tough Darts. That's actually a good record. I Nothing like that Tough Darts record. It's a great it's record. Good. It's good. I very, like it. Yeah. Also, it's one of the first punk bands to introduce girls into punk, so yeah, it's good. good. Um, do we have any Strawberry Switchblade? No, we may. I don't think we do. I don't think so. Uh, do we have any Strawberry Daiquiris? We have... Yes, we have margaritas and pina coladas. Fuck yeah, let's we do that do later. That. Okay, sorry, we're going off the rails. It's no, getting hot. We're going to go off hot. the rails. Woo! This. Oh my God, are we still in the first tub? Yeah, but it's really super good. It's okay. okay. These are great I'm, records. Uh... This is the one. This is the record. I strongly suggest to older people such as myself, and well, actually anyone, but I think Don't you guys will appreciate Don't that. Don't be an ageist. Who cares? You should care. I care. Awesome record. First recordings, the very first recordings from legendary bands such as Shattered Faith, The Chiefs, John Rios, this is fucking awesome. Political Crap, that was Dwayne Peters' first band. Um, Civil Disobedience, several songs by each, AKA Man, 81. This thing never shows up in good shape. It, when I bought mine, I bought it at Music Plus. It, back then it had ring wear when I bought it. Awesome record. It's expensive, it's worth every penny. This is my first Doctor Strange money back guarantee. If you get it and don't like it, send it back. It's that good. It, it's better than Beach Boulevard. It's, How much is that? It's $79. It's expensive. We've had uh, three times ever in 29 years. Abe, uh, AIDS might get this. Hey, AIDS. I didn't know he watched. He's hey, never, he's I never like said AIDS. anything. AIDS. Hi, AIDS. I have stories about AIDS, too. I'm not going to mention the shit fucking, but man, he's into shit. Hey, what's up? He's into shit fucking. Google, um, it. Google it. Couple things. What? Shit fucking? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Jorge Meza, I can't see that record. I'm talking. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Pause. Uh, Jorge Meza wants to know if we can buy him pizza. The answer is no. It's not fucking Saturday. You know but what? Jorge, come in. Saturday. Saturday. Everyone's you're all invited. Two o'clock Saturday. They know. Pizza. Pa pow. They know what time pizza. They know what day pizza day is. They don't listen. Uh, Dominic. Di don't listen. Dominic De Filippo wants you to know that it's 4:20. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna add that to my next segment. Uh, crazy, ooh, crazy, crazy Johnny, Johnny got, who cares, because AIDS asked for a price, and Crazy we'll Johnny. Stuff, Johnny, we have more stuff. Woo! Uh, uh, we'll mail it to you tomorrow. Stephanie Hovey wants to know if we still need an AC guy. Yeah, you know what, Steph, thank you very much. Real, real quickly, um, we need a whole new unit, probably a five ton. Anyway, yeah, please call or email or message. We do need, I need three quotes, I only have one. Uh, how much Thanks. is the Master Tapes comp? You're good for noticing that. This is the compilation we've had once. 
This is the compilation that's a double LP. This high is the compilation that came out in 82. This is the compilation, my voice is cracked, that's my Peter Brady. When it's time to change, it's time to change. Look at all these bands. The Zero Boys. Uh, Mech Minch, really rare. They have one seven inch out. Violent Apathy. It's expensive, but once again, Google it. It's 149, that's more expensive than I thought. But Google it, see what it goes for. See what it has sold for. We and dare never, we, we, we dare you to check Discogs. Yeah, check them, I want you guys to. And you're not gonna find it. Thanks again, Ben. Look at that. Ooh, shiny. Super good shit. Shiny. Ooh, And see? even has that. What? I, even I have never seen the fanzine, and I've only seen this record twice. Uh, Darren, hi Darren. Darren, a lot of these are for you, my friend. Uh, Darren says that Dwayne Peters' first band was called Sharks with Two X's, if he remembers correctly. He might not, he's getting old. Jorge Meza. This is the first recorded band from him. You might be right, but this oh. is the first recording it's from 81. Yeah. Uh, I'm sure he had a band. Yeah. Um, he grew up in Upland. I knew his sister really well. She was super cool. Audrey, hi. Uh, Jorge Meza said he didn't know Saturday was pizza day. I think he's full of shit. Do we have any rare... I, you know, I, I don't they don't listen. Why. They don't fucking listen. They don't bring me Slurpees and they don't fucking listen. Slurp this. Uh, do we have... Blah, blah, blah. I, guys, I had too much coffee today and I'm having a hard She's time waiting. She's all amped waiting. up. Debbie's Woo! Woo! Uh, do we have we any rare revelation... Do we hey. have any rare revelation records? Uh, I will check. I don't know. We did. I don't think we do. Well, I did we do. We have the Warzone record. Oh. Uh, that's sold. Whoever is asking, I wish you would have asked that last month. It's fucking Jorge Meza who doesn't pay attention on the live stream. Oh my swear god. To god if you're here, I, I pants you and give you a wedgie in that order. Hey Stephanie, give us a call after the stream and we'll talk more details about air conditioning units. Yes, please. Because my upper lip is sweaty as fuck. We have the Whirlpool 7 inch, so Jorge. I'm sorry, LP. It's only $15. It's on green vinyl. Come in here, have some pizza. We have Battery, original. We have Slipknot. We have some kind of rare records. Nothing over um, 15. Nothing as rare as this. You know it's a first pressing, because I say it is. It's a first pressing because it has the address, everything else checks out. And my buddy Ben bought that when it came out. Super rare. That's a great record. Are they playing soon? They are playing soon. August 5th with Nails and Final Conflict. Woo! Hi, Ron. Ron's a super good guy. And we have tickets. We do have tickets for that. And it's only $20. Uh, yeah, it's only... Uh, there, $20. Boom. Are you guys getting sick of me saying this? But I... It's not hyperbole. It's not a lie. When I say one of my all-time favorite records, this is one of my all-time favorite records. The Red Rockers on 415. They're from San Francisco from 80 to 82. They, after this record came out, they turned into a top 40 band. This is such a must-have record. Love this record. Condition Red. You'll know them from Rodney and the Rock Volume 2. Dead Hero. Awesome. Jello B. Afford does some backing vocals. Boeing. Go. Oh, boy, go. Oh, hey. Um, hey, what's up? Hi. Uh, Ziggy said her mustache is sweaty, too. Oh. It's hot. My beaver's drippy. And Grant said, Grant is my favorite Canadian. I don't know if I have a more favorite Canadian He's than Grant. He's the only one we know. Uh, Grant said, since it's hot as fuck, please feel free to buy your staff a 12-pack of frosty cold beer on him. He does. You know what, people? He is the Grant best. I love Grant. No, Grant is such Grant a good guy. Grant is the best. He's done that a couple times. Sometimes he sends us candy. He's my favorite. He, he does that. He'll like, oh, buy the guys um, some beer. And he gives me his card number. And I, yeah, I get hookers. Oops, are we on live? Yeah, uh, Jorge Meza said one time he bought me horchata, and I truly appreciated it. And I will take any form of horchata. Uh, the, does form? Does I'm not the sure what that means. does the Red Rockers um, LP rounds. have the 45 with it? No, it never came with the 45 with it. That was a separate deal. Even I've never seen a 45 with there, although I know they have an awesome record. And yeah. how much is the how much is Red Rockers? Mike Wood. Mike, you motherfucker. It's 44. It's in excellent shape. Oh, there is a 7 inch in there. I'm just kidding. It didn't come with one. Um, but it does have, look at that. Wow, mine doesn't have that, and I bought mine when it came out. Real, real briefly, they put out the record, the song on Posh Boy on Rodney and the Rock. They put this record out. They stole the drummer from Stiff Little Fingers. They turned into a top 40 band and sucked dick. Not that that's a bad thing, but they're just not good. This is a phenomenal record. 
but it has an attitude. Like if Johnny Cash was even more punk. Uh, Mike Wood will take that Red Rockers album. Mike Wood what? Mike Wood Mike take Wood the what? Mike Wood take the Red Rockers album. Well, oh, got it. Got you. Thank you. This is very pertinent to today. I love like old bands that sang about stuff. They were prophetic. Fuck religion. Fuck politics. Right? It's still true today. Chaotic Discord. This is an all-star quote-unquote joke band of members of the Dam and Vice Squad. It's good, but it, it was just a, a put on. They are messing with the label with Ryan City just as a jokey way. Sent in a demo tape. We're Chaotic Discord. Will you sign us? And they said, okay. And they put a record out without even realizing who was in the band. This man is a great record. I love the effigies. John, the singer, he watches. Well, he buys from us once in a while. Anyway, if you're watching... You guys were phenomenal. I saw them with SSD Control and GBH. And so it was Ben. Ben, that was his record. Ben was there. One of the best shows I've ever seen. And this is a great record. It's on Ruthless Records. And look at that. It has the insert. It's a five song EP. I think that's their best record. That's for fans of Naked Ray Gun or Peg Boy. What color is that Cramps album? It's black. It's an it's original black. black. I don't think the originals ever came on colored vinyl. Okay, we got one tub. One tub down. Oh, this is my personal favorite. Love the germs, but this has no God. That's an original. I love that song, No God. It's really hard to pick a favorite song. If I had to, No God. Original. Can you Can pull I take that picture? I don't know. Probably took everything else. Hard to say. Flash. Uh, can you pull Chaotic Discord for John Rios? John! John! Okay, as I get the other tub, I was thinking about this today. It's a new segment. It's the first time we're going to do it, and probably the last time. These are cliches. A cliche is a overused phrase, like it's hot as hell, whatever. People say it all the time. It loses all meaning. But this is something, a couple things that I just think bug the fuck out of me. If you say it around me, I'll give you five reasons not to. One, number one, back in the day. Back, what does that even mean? That bugs me. Back in the day, the term old school, not really the word old school, but like when someone comes in like, oh man, this fucking dude, he was so old school. Shut up, idiot. And at the end of the day, you hear that all the time, especially, that's like a new thing over the last year. I'm watching CNN and everyone is like, well, but at the end of the day, back at the end of the day, shut up. All right, that's it, I'm done. How much is the germs? The germs is a must have. Great record, it's 44. Excellent shape. Shh, it's a secret. <laughs> secret. Uh, hey, uh, AIDS, Hi, AIDS wants to see seven inches. Okay, AIDS, you got it. We got some that. great seven inches. I'll tell you what, AIDS. We'll talk about shit fucking later. Let's do some seven inches. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming can, that was a no. That's a no, put that away, put that away. Say hi to Jinx, everybody, he's right there. Meow. Meow. Oh, wait. Oh, bye. Water. Okay, as impressive as those LPs were, some of these seven inches are just as impressive. Um, Abe said less talking, more shit fucking. Okay, you got it, my friend. And you know what, Abe? I told you this last time. I'm very proud of you. I've known Aids for a long time. He's a big boy. He's buying a house. He has a really good job. He has a nice girlfriend. Good for you. He's into shit fucking. I guess I could do two things at once. Can shit, you? Yeah, shit fucking is when you take a shit and your, your mate or whatever you want to call it, your friend, really close friend, molds that shit into a dick and then reinserts it. <laughs> Do you have to let it dry to do shit fucking like do that? You want. There's no rules, man. Oh, okay. okay. Fuck, it's anarchy. Is it like an ash tug with shit? You do whatever you want. Okay. Hey, there's different variations of shit fucking. Uh, different states, different countries do things differently. I put mine in a microwave, get a fucking rock hard, spit on it, insert. See, I would go a little more like uh, like wet form and do like ash tug. Ash tug with shit. My mom watches this. Hi, mom. Hi, Debbie Johnson's mother. <laughs> this is total chaos, man. Fucking nuts. Original volume records from 80 something. One, two. We have more. Oh, how much is Power Trip? High five. 
Um, for Grant. Grant, yeah. Grant, fact check me on this. We all know that Power Trip is Jeff Dahl. That's cool. That's fine. He never sang for the Angry Samoans. Did he? No. That's always been Mike. Anyway, you got it, buddy. There's no conflict here. We're all friends. And can you pull... Uh, can you pull Death Cult for Jose? Yeah. Hi, Jose. You never call me back. I'm sorry. I had like three calls coming. I have an order for you to show up Friday, um, Saturday. I'll fart on you. That dude likes it when I fart on him. I don't know if he knows about shit fucking, but God help him. He's going to find out. Uh, fact check. Hi. Uh, fact check from Grant. Yes. He sang one song on Back From Samoa. Oh, big deal. You can't say you're the fucking singer. This is really sought after. Riot City Records, number eight, original for fans of Vice Squad. This is the Expelled. Don't let this throw you off because literally, because of these sleeves, all of them and the, the way the label was, it's an imprint label, they're all like this. You're not gonna find it without that ring wear. Even when they're new, they're like that. Uh, can you pull Germs, that Germs LP for John Rios? John, good. We love John, he's a nice guy. I like him because he laughs at my stupid jokes. Near mint? Did you hang up? Did you hang up on Jose when he was trying to buy the Flex Pink Indians? No! I said hold on and I switched over to someone else. Oh my god, just call us back. It's yeah, like it's, back, it's a shit show over god here. Damn, you're a friend. Look at that. Orange vinyl. That's only $19. Oh, Jessica Sanchez, who went, right. who put stuff on hold and then went MIA, uh, said she did will... Get, did you get pizza that day? No, it was somebody else. Uh, she didn't pick up her records. Uh, she had a global threat and the, the single 7-inch and then the 7-inch with toxic narcotic. Uh, I think we still have both of them and we'll put them back on hold for you. Because yeah. we like you. We do like you. This one that you just saw is actually a new one, so we probably have two copies of those. Once again, white vinyl, love Rick Elric. This is crazy rare. Minimal Man, no I'm sorry, Angry Red Planet. It's a band you guys have never heard of. Really super good, 81, 82. I would compare them to the Dead Kennedys vocally. Not like a direct rip off, but just kind of. They're really good. Google it, Mint, unplayed almost, 83, super good shape. Did you get confused because I was doing this? I know, I thought you were... That, well, that's that. what the guy oh, okay. They just chased it. Does someone else want this, Diggy? My... Ah. Another. Wait, I, we didn't show that I was too shaky. Good. <laughs> no, Ziggy wants Ziggy wants Okay. Total chaos. It's okay, we have more addicts. Bobby Steele from The Misfits Undead. 83. Not dollars, 19. SST Records number two. Ooh, that's a rare one. Excellent shape. Super, super good shape. White cross. Uh, I love the instigators. The first record is phenomenal. For fans of subhumans and even crass, which I'm not a fan of crass, lyrically crass, musically subhumans. What's up, Deb? Uh, what label is Total Chaos on? Volume. Volume? I can't see it from here. It's on volume. Okay. Volume record is number one, actually. Look at this. These are all originals on Flick Knife. Flick Knife. A Flick Knife is a UK version of a Switchblade. I knew that. Uh, hey. I just guessed it. Really? Uh -huh. I believe you. It is. Can you pull White Cross for Crazy Johnny? Yeah. And if I, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I think you found that out that fateful day on King's Road, 1982, and you got your picture taken. Because totally. someone tried to mug her. Totally. Yeah, that's how I found out about Flick Knives. Yeah, someone grabbed a knife and tried to steal her purse. The, and I gave him a little cat cat. Re yes, the Rejectors, original, the Varukers. I love this record. Die for the government. Die for your government's convenience. Once again, prophetic. It's still going on. That's Riot City Records. Uh, say, hey, what's up? Hey, uh, you want to say anything about Varukers and something we put out on the label, maybe? War Plague War Wound. We have that record. It has Rat from the Varukers. And members of Sacrilege. Yes, I gotta find one. Look at that. We have someone black. We have someone white. The white vinyl is this one. Only 100 made. Uh, 
It's on Doctor Strange. Just came out a couple weeks ago. You can, oh, it has a free download code too. You can sample their stuff. It's for fans of, well, the Barookers. That's like the main reason I really was interested. Ian Glasper, really great author, Burning Britain, uh, a lot of other books, but they have rap. They started in 82. There was a, a time where they kind of split up. They started the Barookers. Uh, members were in the Barookers, then Sacrilege, and they did their own thing, but now they're back. Check it out. War Plague, War Wound, Split. It's cheap. How much is the Rejectors? That is 59. The sleeve has sticker residue, has the insert. I know the vinyl is really nice, I think. Yeah, vinyl's really nice. The only quote unquote problem is that sticker residue. Once again, let's see what they go for. Because it's cheaper. Uh, Jessica Sanchez vouches that that Veruca 7 inch is real good. It's really good. Yeah. We all know it's really good. You don't have to tell us. We already know. Yeah, we know it's love good. Love the first LP. That's a really great 7 inch. Okay, this is one. Uh, Greg Sedlock. Is oh, Greg. I heard that name a long time. Greg Sedlock got the rejector. Hi, Greg. Greg is an old time customer. Okay, another record, a song that was on, I think. Rodney in the Rock Volume 2 or 3, Lost Cause. This, it was uh, Born Dead. This is the 7 inch. Crazy rare. We had it two times, only two times ever. Original high velocity records from 81 or 2? 81. Expensive, worth every penny. Love this, <coughs> I love this band. Not a big fan, but you know that's going to sell. Original Spider Leg Records number 6, Amoebix. Bam! First press, original, social unrest on infrared records from 1981. Excellent shape. Thanks to Ben. Thanks to Andy. Thanks to Jinx. Kilroy. Uh, can you pull the Amoebix for Jose? Yeah. I don't want to tell you. Oh, it's Jose. I'll tell you. We had the No Sanctuary LP with his soul. Sucker. Suck on this, bitch. Shh. God, it's so cold outside. The Freeze original on Modern Method. That's cheaper than I thought. $39. Bathtub shitter. Don't know how that got in there. What's the price on social unrest? 69. 69. It's in super good shape, guys. Look at that. You're not going to find it in better shape. Once, once again, these all are from the original owner, and he actually took really good care of his records. How much is bathtub shitter? She probably like six or something. Eight. It's eight. Uh, uh hey AIDS, tell us which one, because I don't know which one you're talking about. And uh, I got they're about to duke it out in the comments because I have people asking for prices, but have the shit fuck over. It. Um, hey hey hey, uh, can you pull the freeze for Crazy Johnny? Yeah. Excellent shape. I'm surprised Johnny doesn't have that one. Johnny has a lot of crazy records. This is crazy Johnny. And can you pull social unrest for AIDS? AIDS. Man, I love this record. Uh, then also, hold on, I'm like... Oh, can you pull bathtub shitter for Amanda Macy Mastiase? Oh, we... Oh, we forgot to give her the phone. We forgot to tell Ziggy to answer the phone. I don't know what that is. Okay, these are not from the guy's collection. I'm gonna burn through these, but they are new. Fucked up. Here, do you want me to come over there? Okay. Isocracy. What is it? We have tickets for it. Yeah, $45. $45. Wait, cash. Pumpkin, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sorry, $45. Okay, go ahead. Sorry. Yeah. Isocracy. Bad Trip. These are all originals. Uh, Undertow with Struggle. Final Conflict. Hi, Ron. Oh, that's funny. Moon Zappa. Ooh, James Tesno. James. Just made a really good point that the dibs gets the record before the price. So if you say, I want dibs on that, that means we pull it for you. If you ask us how much, that's just asking what the price is on it. Good point. Does that make sense? If you want something, call dibs on it. That's you 
like physically being here and touching the record and grabbing the record and sticking it down your pants. 1.6 band. Posh, a really obscure posh boy. Oh, you know how we were talking about shit fucking earlier? Yeah, I remember that vaguely. Uh, my mom just joined the stream, so. Oh, she's into it. And here's a picture of Debbie's mom. Hey. That was taken uh, like a month ago, was that yeah. right? Mrs. Johnson? Mrs. Johnson. Okay. I don't think she knows that my name is Debbie That's Johnson. That's why I'm. Oh, okay. Oh wait, what record was that? I wasn't paying attention. Pain Teens, uh, Sub Pop, MDC, The Undertones, Billy Bragg, John Luke, do you want that one? Madness, this place is madness. Sister Double Happiness, that's members of the big boys. Dogma Mundista, Special Duty Split with Red Flag 77. They are playing Punk Invasion. Someone just called for $45 with Peter and the Test Tube Babies and the Virus, hi guys, and the Oi Scouts, hi guys, and everyone else. Exclaim with Jelly Roll Rockheads. Gold Vinyl, Wayne County, another undertones. Oh wait, pause. Uh, can you, hi. Uh, can you pull MDC for yes. Mike Palmer? Mike, it's only eight bucks, out of print. And then, how much is the Radix? Oh, I don't know. I didn't even, it's, it's only six dollars. And it might be uncolored, it's six dollars. That's an old LA punk band. Undertakers, the criminals. Oh, Jessica. Uh, Jessica. Yes, Sika. Yes, Sika. Okay, back to Ben's records. Uh, can you put that on hold for Jessica? Like Jessica with the way. Original Corpus Christi, first press. Boop. That's a really good record. Crucifix, dehumanization. Original, first press. Dirt. Excellent shape. Uh, this Radix is for Grant. Lena Lovich. That's a good song. New toy. Produced by Howard Me. Jones. Oh, by Howard Kevin Jones. Johnson. Dig that groove, baby. Oh, bam. Another money back guarantee. We had one come in last week. It's sold. This does not have the insert. The lyric sheet, which I think they only made a thousand. Check them out at the L Ray or House of Blues on their 40th anniversary. Stiff little fingers. They still kick ass. Get your tickets now. It will sell out. But we don't have tickets. For we don't have tickets here. I'm just, I just love that band. I'm sorry. Bullocks and the Gonads. Here's the testicles. This is really fun. hard to get with the sticker still on. Very rare. Awesome record. The skeptics are on there. Anti system. The Mau Maus. The instigators. Crude SS. Legion of Parasites. That's a really cool band that no one knows. Extracts. Riot Squad. Savage Republic. Repulsive Alan. Alien Alan. Alan's repulsive too. Uh, how much is Stiff Little Fingers? The band or no? Okay. It's only 32. I'm telling you, get that record. It's an original from '79 or '8, whenever it came out. Uh, how much is the comp you just showed? It's wow, that's cheaper than I thought. I thought it was in the 40s. It's 32 dollars. Anything on Pax Records is incredibly rare. Check out all the bands. And there's actually a couple songs by each. And it's in super good shape. To answer your question, it's 32. Must have another top 10 of all time. Original X Ray Specs. This is also an original. Awesome record. The Partisans. Punk. It's on No Future. Punk number four. First pressing with the insert. Christian Death. Excellent shape. Can you pull. The Witch Trials. Hi. Can you pull X Ray? Oh! We just got three dibs on X Ray Specs in a row, but. Jose, Jose was first. Jose, you got it. But we still have three or four seven inches and on colored vinyl too, which are really rare. These are all online, or they will be by tonight. The Witch Trials with Jello Biafra. Hey, what's up? Hi, can you also pull Christian Death for Jose? Yeah. With the insert, there's only a thousand with the insert. They were just here. They were great back then, they're better now. Uh, they're about to do their Euro tour also. Oh, I didn't know that. Cool. Can you pull Partisans for the Palm? Man, that's such that's a good my, record. That's my Palmer. Uh, Raymond Diaz really likes your radioactivity shirt. Thank you. Thanks to Debbie Johnson for picking that up for me. I didn't get to see him because of my new puppy, Sadie. I didn't feel like uh, leaving her at home. But yeah, thank you very much. And he has the shorts to go with it, too. I match. I have my Creepers. Creepers, courtesy of Dr. Strange Records. Pants. Turned into shorts, courtesy of Goodwill. Shirt, courtesy 
Debbie Johnson. This is really good. Hey, what's up? Hi. Uh, before you show me that crappy HR album, uh, no, this is a good, this is a good record. <laughs> is it? It really is. Okay. There's some songs that could have been Bad Brain songs because look, they're both in it. Okay. Earl and HR. Okay. There's some really good I take it back. songs. It's good. What up? Uh, how much is the Eastern Front Comp and how much is Crucifix? I think they're both 32. Let's see. You know who's asking? Greg said Locke is asking. Greg, where the hell have you been? Here? 29. That's 29. I'll leave it there for now. And the crucifix, once again, is 36. Poster sleeve. Queen as fuck. It is. Okay. Boop. Boop. This is very rare. It is a 12 inch version of the 7 inch. Only had it once. Anti-Norley. Eh. Uh, Greg Sedlock will take both the Eastern Front and Crucifix. Shwoop. Oh, and then who wanted that again? Uh, I forget who was asking. No. They just were asking the price on it. Okay. Get that record, people. This is a great record, uh, too. But Stu Smith will take this one. Oh. Boop. First record from the Exploited? I don't know. Uh, Stu Smith. I like that one, and I like Troops of Tomorrow. They're equally great. That's a first pressing with the insert. Oh, look at that. I think this guy is a true genius when it comes to music. I think it's indisputable. T-S-O-L, the first record. The Untouchables, touch this. You guys happy, you having a good time? So is Johnny Rotten. Blood for blood, colored vinyl. One more tub? Are we good? One more tub? You got time? Yeah, you have time. These are crazy. Oh, my back. Oh, man down. Oh, can you pull TSOL? I think I just pulled my groin. Yes. TS pull TSOL. That's for Michael Boyer. Mike. Michael. Michael Boyer. Uh, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. How'd these guys get hit in there with the seven inches? Oop, oop. East Bay Ray from the Dead Kennedys. Alternate. Oh, here we go. Crass. I knew I was missing stuff. Tell them to call after we're done being live. Tell them to call after we're done being live. Oh, oh. Can you call after you're done? I'm sorry. Hi. We're almost done. You call back. Call back. Whoever just called, call us back after we're done being live. What? what? It was Stu Debbie's Smith? mom? Oh. Stu Smith? It was AKA Debbie's mom. AKA Stu she Smith. She won't leave me alone. AKA. Oh. I'm sorry. Wait, hold on. I'm distracted. Uh, you're still doing your job. Uh, Debbie's mom! Ah! Uh, can you... <laughs> uh, what's the price on Blood for Blood, and what's the price on Exploited? And while he's looking, I'll show you some crass seven inches. Uh, we posted a lot of these on Instagram and Facebook yesterday. This one's on Dookie Brown. That's fun to know. Yes, ask. that is very hard to get on brown vinyl. Dookie Brown. Blood for Blood is... 15. 15. If you guys are paying attention on Instagram and Facebook, you will see that we did post that this is Dookie Brown. Dookie Dookie! Uh, new smell already sold. Sorry, Jose. It's gone. You should have called me back, Jose. It's okay. I have a new smell. That's actually an old smell coming out of my ass on your face. Back of your head. Uh, and what was the other LP? Uh, Exploited. Oh, yeah. That's such a good record. It's still... It's 29. 29 for the exploited. The reissue is probably the same price. That's from 81. What are you doing? Oh, I don't know. I totally forgot. I thought we I'm helping. Here. That's Here, super rare talk about this licorice one. pizza giveaway. The, it was never for sale. It was given away by Licorice Pizza, which, if you guys don't remember, Licorice Pizza was a chain store um, like Music Plus, Sam Goody. Sam Goody actually bought them warehouse. Anyway, you just walked in the store and they give you a free record. I don't remember how many they did. We've had this record two times. Excellent shape. It's funny. It's one of those records that was like, eh, who cares? Big deal. I don't want it. It must suck. They're giving it for free. But now everyone wants it. 
just uh, goes to show. Stephanie Hovey will take the exploited. Awesome. And then uh, Nathan Bigsby, you say you said both crass, but we have a lot of crass. Uh, we have a lot of crass seven inches. We only have a couple LPs. There's uh, more coming, Nathan. Let us know which crass. We also need to do the rest of those. What's, oh yes, sheep uh, farming with the insert. Let's put the crass. On also, the, the price on this black flag is seventy nine. Darren, where are you, buddy? You probably already have a lot of these. That's the Chiefs? Chiefs with black flag. And black flag. These are demos. Ooh, that's a really rare UK pressing of black flag six pack on alternative tentacles. Too drunk to fuck. Virus number two. Look at that. 1981. First press without the sticker on it. Oh, speed of Dead Kennedys. That's a real legendary bootleg from the late 80s skateboard party. It's when they were in Germany. Bauhaus. All these are from Ben, so they're in really good shape. Uh, Darren said he's, hi. Darren still, he's blah, 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 blah. Darren says he's still here. Do we still have crasses feeding the 5,000? No. Already sold. Uh, David Perez says dibs do. I don't know what he wants. So, uh, he probably wants this. Dibs do. No, I don't know. No? You think he wants this? Uh, maybe. I would because these are all originals. The Plum Souls, members of the Nerves, Power Pop. Really good. Cheap. It doesn't get much more special than this. That's only 19. It's an original. Why is that so cheap? This is the other record I was talking about before. I think they put on Black Flag just to help it sell. That's a really good comp from 81. Angelic Upstarts, Cocking Rejects, Peter and the Test Tube Babies, The Exploited, Cox Bar. Excellent shape. Matilda the Stockbroker, Angelic Upstarts, Double LP Gatefold. Really good shape. Loving Rockets. I got a rocket in my pocket. That's a great compilation. We've had it before. No, it doesn't have the zine, not the booklet. Hi. Uh, how much is Plimsolls and how much eight. is... Plimsolls is eight. How much is Oi? 26. 26. Awesome bands are on here. Ooh, this is Debbie Johnson's personal favorite from this guy. Really True. good guy. I really was like just him. telling Steve that that's like one of my favorite albums. I, I really like it. on you. God damn it. And it has the insert. Well, then I take back all the secrets I told Steve earlier. I only heard about that. Okay. I, was um, to I have questions. Uh, how much... Blah, blah, blah. Alice wants to know how much is Love and Rockets. Oh, it's not much. It's only 12 bucks. What? She's going to say yes to that. I'll just, she is. I'll just hold that. I thought you had that. That's for Alice. Oh, speaking of her, more questions. Uh, can you... Hi. Uh, Raymond Diaz will take the Rick Agnew. With the insert, only a thousand made with the lyric sheet. And how much is... Good guy. Oh, hi. How much... Whoa. Sorry, yeah. How much is UK subs? That was probably 20... That's a great record. Uh, it's their second LP. It's $26. I've already told you guys this before, but for those of you that didn't listen, the UK subs entitled all of their LPs with the first, second, third letter of the alphabet. The first record, A, another kind of blues. The second record, brand B, new age. The third record, C, crash course. The fourth one, D, diminished responsibilities, and so on. Um, can you pull the first, can you, that's for Jose. Oh, Jose. Let us know if you want that one. Uh, Jessica Sanchez said, Dead Kennedys, question mark. We have the skateboard party, uh, bootleg LP, and the Too Drunk to Fuck 7-inch. I, like I like to call it Too Drunk to Funk. Oh, because your mom's watching? No, 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 because, like, you know Jello is really into Bootsy Collins. Uh, I do now. This is a great band. I... A lot of people probably don't know of them. Maybe they do. I'm Internet. sorry, I have more dibs. Sorry. Uh, can you pull UK subs for Michael Boyer? Oh, it's right here, Mike. Got you. 
And then, uh, can we... Is I that Michael Boy or... Like, I don't know what it is. That's what the doctor said. Yeah, you were pretty born, much. Oh, Michael Boy or... And he's like, I don't know what the fuck this is. Hermaphrodite. Uh, can you pull too drunk for Jessica? Yeah. I don't know where that is. Oh, hey, right there. Shazam! It is... It's 19. Okay, get ready for this one, guys. Call dibs on this one. The Destructors, Wild Thing, Puss Head Artwork incredibly good shape really good band UK band early 80s very evil toxic reasons that's a good record it's not as good as independence it's really good though it's only $29 who what when where why that's a good compilation conflict anthrax toxic shock vex poison girls existence Original first pressing of the Avengers. Ooh, it's only $3 more than a repress. Actually, maybe even less. It's $29. First press, excellent shape. Tex and the Horse Heads. They were kind of a weirdo. Never cared for them. That's only $17. Original. Wow, this is a great record. Anyone that hasn't heard DOA, I strongly suggest getting this DOA. It's like uh, greatest hits from 78 to 83. Canada's best band, Grant, back me up on that. They're like my well. they're like my fifth favorite Canadian. Grant's always number one. Grant's my favorite Canadian. Uh, can, he's number two. can you pull Avengers? Now for, you're finally getting it. Oh! Can you, you pull, got it a long time ago. Can you pull Avengers for John Rios? Woo! So Woo! She's ah! 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 Debbie's mom, get over here quick. Circle jerks. And the band. That's and we're me. doing this Wait. later. No, no. You're on Wild in the Streets. I'm in both. Are you in this I'm one right too? There. Oh, that's when you had your hair all cut and bleached out. The Debbie other, Johnson was totally into like um, the Avengers. She shaved her head, yeah. bleached it. You had to have a pretty face mm -hmm. to pull it off. And she did. Oh, thanks. Yeah, she pulled it off. It's very difficult for a girl to do that. Can you hear me? You can't hear me. Okay, I'm sorry. Original. Optional records with the insert, Dead Kennedys, KGB, The Offs, Tuxedo Moon, Pink Section, yeah, yeah. I'm assuming that's a yeah, yeah. Damned. I've never seen it with this sticker. If I have, I haven't seen it in a long time. Neither has he. Oh, oh what? He's like, yeah, he's kind of creeped oh, out by what's it. that sticker? The Damned oh. are recording a new record. It should come out next year. That's a really good ska mod, ska comp, dance craze. That's a good movie, too. Man, Jeff, you have these, I think. If you don't, let me know. Awesome records, originals, inexpensive, $17. Ed Culver photograph, it's not only good because of that, it's a great record. That's Frontier Records number, I don't know, two, five. China White, still a unique band. Does that have the insert? Yeah, is there a thousand made? Yeah, should you get it? Yes. Bang. There's some real heavy hitters coming up. Stay tuned. That's an original UK pressing. On Sweet Beat, there's an unknown amount because the warehouse burned down and records were burned, so they don't really know. Can you pull Dance Craze for Stephanie Hubby? Yeah, Steph. It's actually pretty cheap. It's 26. It's still in the original shrink wrap. Wow. Excellent. This is a great band. The Lewd American Wino with the insert. Really good shape. Get it? If you don't get this one, you can buy the repress, which is really good too. But that's just a really great record. That's total San Francisco. Fuck you, punk rock. That just early 80s good attitude. Uh, how much is TSOL? Probably like 26. I don't think it's that much. It's 29 with the insert. Get it? 29. The repress is 26.90. It's two dollars and ten cents more. Stop bitching. How much is Bad Religion? 32. 32. Repress is 26. Uh, they're just asking for the price right now. And no. can you pull the lewd for Mike Palmer? Mike, okay. It's such a good record. It's expensive, but once again, check Discogs or whatever you want to check. Near Mint, it's 89. I think the average was 150. Anyway, awesome record. If you don't like it, then you're stupid. Uh, can you pull Bad Religion for Greg Sedlock? And how much is China White? China White, it's 26. Another phenomenal record. Uh, there's not one. 29, I'm sorry. Really super good. Huntington Beach, first or second wave punk rock. Great. It's still a unique record. 
there's certain bands that were different then, and they're timeless. They're still timeless. Of course, Dead Kennedys is one of those bands. 26. Three press is 2290. Come on. Uh, the dip. Do we have any Lions Law? Do we know when it's coming in? Yes, we do have Lions Law right here. We'll it's back there. Second. We can't do that. We don't have time. We're going to do it on Friday. We do have Lions Law. They're not on the website yet, but I ordered every Lions Law record that is in existence, including the new 7 inch. And the LPs are here. And that's the first pressing of the Mighty Breeze, one of Boston's first punk bands still playing today. New. Alliance Records number one. That is the home of the Descendants, the Minutemen, many others. Original first pressing. Excellent shape. Uh, can you pull China White for Jason Olson? And then can you pull Addicts for John Rios? Uh, and also, John, there was another Addicts record. Uh, the one the Carousel. Uh, God damn it. Uh, can you pull, sorry, I have another one. Um, can you pull TSOL for Pinche Adrian? The shit Pinche Adrian. Uh, no, not AIDS, a different one. Uh, hold on, no, wait, I have a blah, blah, blah. Ooh. Maybe it's for the bathroom. Yeah. This is Johnson, she's taking a dump right now. Uh, so a lot of people tried to call dibs on that addicts. Uh, we still have, what the fuck is the name of that album? It's the sound of music. Also, if you guys don't care... Oh! John Rios got it. John Rios... Really? Yeah, John Rios got it already. Uh, and if you guys don't care if it's a repress, we have one repress available right now. This is a really good compilation. If I remember right, it has the um, it has America's Hardcore, but man, every band's on here. I think it has Willful Neglect, it has Dr. No, JFA, The Nip Drivers, um, God, there's a million bands. Seven Seconds, Jack Shit, which is also Seven Seconds, kind of in disguise. It's Kevin's other band. Red Cross, when they were punk. Um, Adrenaline OD, Sin 34, Illy Pute, First Press, excellent shape. What is it? I ask myself that every single time I take a pee. I look at it, I have no idea. Still, I don't know. This has the germs. This is First Wave, LA Punk Band, the Skulls, the Controllers, the Dills, Chaos. The eyes, excellent shape. This is another great comp. I bought this record as a kid when it came out. It got me into all these bands. China White, Anti, The Descendants, Red Cross, Ill Will, Civil Dismay, Saccharine Trust, really good compilation. Original, and that's an original, Sin 34, Penis, Dicks. That this, says this Penis. Johnson. She already knew that. I already know that. We, we say that every, every time. Did you know that? Yeah. Hold that up in a mirror. This says, says penis. penis. Saccharin trust. Pagan icons. All right, guys. That's just some of the stuff that came in. Yes, we do have Lions Law. Uh, Come in the store sooner than later. Gina Gonzo, let us know how much for what. You may, use complete sentences. We love you guys. Use complete sentences. Um, yeah. That's it. That's we'll it. We'll be back on Friday. We didn't go through any of these. We didn't go through any of those. There's just too much stuff to do. How much is Pagan Icons? Pagan for, Icons. For Raymond Diaz? 32. $32. Excellent shape. With the insert. This is the record that you're on. Debbie Johnson is on this, Wild in the Streets. Uh, Michael, she didn't get one penny for her photograph. No. Uh, Michael Boyer will take both Generation X's. Good. They're only 15 or $17. Really good record. I love Generation X. Billy Idol has such a good voice. Still, still has a good voice. And he still has like that charisma live. Um, I don't want to say he's a rock star, but he has that star. Is in there, huh? Yeah, uh, he has that no, star. No, this, this one is for five. somebody else. This no, is... the Gen X record. Oh, right here. maybe. Yeah. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yep. Uh, two Gen X for I forgot who I said. Did you write it down? I forgot. No, I for forgot. And, you know what, and then I'm, sorry, do we have time for I'm not done yet. Okay. Uh, James Tesno will take the Green Mystic comp. Oh, that's a good one. Boop. Uh, Amanda wanted to know how much the repress is. It's 1890. Uh, take a phone number if it's the same guy. Uh, did we sell the, uh, for, 
the, did we sell the what comp? No. Oh, yeah, let us know how much that is. 44. It's 44. Excellent shape. Okay, I forgot about these. That's the one you want if you like legal weapon. Do we have time for these? No, no we don't have time for these. Okay, guys, we'll see Because these. I'm hot and we've been streaming for an hour and 15 minutes. Oh, okay, sorry. I right. haven't had any water and I'm dying. Okay, we're going to get some margaritas really? in a second. So, what we're going to do is we're going to we're gonna stay live for like three minutes so everybody can wrap up all of their dibs. We're not going to show you new records. You have to tune in Friday at 4 to see the rest of those records. I'm going to drink some water because when I get too hot, I get fucking bitchy and yell at people. Uh... So, let me tell you about my day. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, can you pull the Addicts Repress for Amanda Macias? Yeah. Macias? Yes. Macias? Uh, which Jealous Again pressing? That's the first pressing. It's $29. SST Records number three or something. I don't know. It's a first press. Uh, that Jealous Again is a first press. And how much was it? I believe it's 26 or 29 I'll check it in one set. And... Um, uh, uh, that one. Sound of music. How much is legal weapon? Thirty, ninety-seven, four. Legal weapon. Your weapon. I. I don't know. We'll find. Uh, addicts for Amanda. Okay. Legal weapon. That was thirty-two. Poster sleeve. Original. Let us know if you want that legal weapon aids. And then Mike Palmer, yes, we will hold your stuff until Friday. Yeah, for sure. Because there's more coming. And... I think that's it. Okay, so how are we going to do this? Tell people. Who's calling who? Okay, so after we're done being live, which is like in a second, you guys are going to call us. And What's the number again? 909-944-1778. 1778, the year I was born. Jose, Jose said dibs on your tiny legal weapon. Oh, right. Chuk, chuk, chuk. It's a howitzer. Bow. Ask your mom. Uh, so you guys are going to call us, and we're going to take your info, and then we're going to charge you, and then we're going to ship it to you. And if you call and we don't answer, just call us back in like five minutes. Because that operators means are standing by. Operators are standing by, but there's only one of us. And that's me. Operator. Operator, yes. I'm standing by. I will take your order. If you don't get through the first time... Try, try again. Try, try again. I Call think that's soon, it. because she's going to get a little tipsy in a second. I'm going to make some pina coladas. Thank you very much, everybody. Is that it? Oh, uh, John Rios said, everybody call at once. John Rios, eat my fuck. Don Sargent says, can we end with a yeah, yeah? A yeah, yeah! I scared Jinx. Don Sargent, a yeah, yeah!